and doors. And here's a factory that makes some of the boots our army wears. The leather they're made from is produced and tanned in New Zealand. It's tough leather and it's strong. First the soles are cut out. An army marches on its stomach, but the army's boots are just as important. Each boot gets two of these soles to start with. The uppers, already sewn and machined, are first attached by hand, and the boots begin to take shape. This is fast work at any time. It calls for greater speed than ever today. New Zealand factories are aiming to produce a million military boots a year as day by day our army grows. Machines speed the work. On this machine, the uppers are attached more firmly, ready for the final sewing. This is skilled work, and it calls for strength, quickness of the hand and eye. And knees, as well as hands, are used. Workers on these machines are trained workers who know their job. On their skill, on their machines, and on the boots they make, the army depends. The final sewing of the uppers onto the sole is careful work. Strong linen thread soaked in hot wax is used. It will hold fast against the toughest wear. In every stage, skill and speed are essential. To soften the leather for the next stage, the boots are dipped into water. It's certainly not the last time they'll be wet. Heels, already cut and joined, are next attached by a machine that drives nails home a dozen at a time. The boot is almost finished. This is vital work. It's work that backs the army up, for the army's equipment is just as important as its manpower. Like the Navy, it's silent service that means victory. Women, too, are doing their share of the work, and whether it's stitching uppers or blackening the finished boots, it's just as important. This is the final process, and the waiting racks are being quickly filled with boots that are ready for wear. They have been made in New Zealand by New Zealanders. Off they go to the army who needs them to protect the feet of the men who go to fight our war. These New Zealand boots have already seen tough service in the Middle East, and they are being worn by these men today across the burning sands of Libya. The same men who wore them in the mountain passes of Greece, on the rocky hills of Crete, and came back, boots and all. <laughs> <laughs>